Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area between two curves. So there are two ways to do it. The first way is called integrating with respect to x, and the other way is called integrating with respect to y. And let me show you how to do both ways. So let's say you want to find the area between the curve f of x and g of x. Basically, that's this area right there. So what you can do is you can find the area under the curve f of x, which is this area right there, and you minus the area under the curve g of x. And what that's going to do is that is going to give you the difference in the area, which is this area right there, or this area. So to sum up, the area is equal to the integral from a to b of f of x dx, that is this area right here, minus the integral from a to b of g of x dx, that is this area right there. So you can smash the two integrals together, that simplifies a lot of things, and that's going to be equal to the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. So that is the first formula for finding the area between curves by integrating with respect to x. Now let's take a look at how to integrate with respect to y. So in a different case scenario, you have the function f of y and you have the function g of y. And you want to find the area between these two curves. What you can do is you can find the area with respect to y of the function f of y, that is the rightmost function, and you minus the area under the curve g of y, that is the leftmost function. So to sum up, the area is the integral from a to b of f of y dy, that is this area right there, minus the integral from a to b of g of y dy. That's going to be this area right there. So again, you can just smash the two integrals together and you're going to get the integral from a to b of f of y minus g of y dy. Now let's try our first problem. So we have to find the area of the region between y equals to x and y equals 3x minus x squared. So we know that we have a parabola here, and we also have a linear equation. So we must find the area between these two curves. Now, the first step is we need to find A and B. In other words, those are going to be the intersections right there. This is going to be A, and that is going to be B. So to find A and B, we need to find the intersections, like I said, so since y is equal to x, and y also equals to 3x minus x squared, we can put them both together. So let's do x is equal to 3x minus x squared. So we can subtract x from both sides of the equation. We're going to get 0 is equal to 2x minus x squared. And then we can factor out the x. That's going to be x times 2 minus x and so we know that x is going to be 0 and 2 so a is equal to 0 b is equal to 2 now remember our area formula we are going to integrate with respect to x so the area is equal to the integral from a to b so 2 0 the upper function is going to be the orange one. The upper function is 3x minus x squared. And we minus the lower function. That is going to be simply x. So x, that is green. And then don't forget to put in the d of x. And that's it. This integral will give you the area. So let's solve them together. We're going to have 2, 0. So 3x minus x, that's going to give you 2x minus x squared dx. So we have to integrate this integral. And let me get some space. 
So 2x integrating this, we're going to have 2 times x to the power of 2 over 2 minus x squared, and then we integrate it. That's going to give us x to the power of 3 over 3, and that's going to be from 2 to 0. And we can simplify this. That's going to give us x squared minus 1 over 3, x to the power of 2, I mean 3, and 2 to 0. All right, that's going to be the same as 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 over 3, 2 to the power of 3, and then we minus 0 to the power of 2 minus 1 over 3, 0 to the power of 3. This is going to be 0, that's going to be for sure. So, this is the same as 4 minus 8 over 3 minus 0. So, this is going to be the same as, this is going to be 12 over 3 minus 8 over 3. And finally, the answer is going to be 4 over 3. And this represents the area between these two curves right there. Let's try a different example. So find the area of the region between y equals x and y equals x minus 2 squared. So remember, the first thing we need to do is find a and b. And those are the intersections of these two functions. So since y equals x and y also equals to x minus 2 squared, we can set them together Oops, let's see. So we can set them together like this. So x equals x minus 2 squared. That's going to be x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. And we can subtract x from both sides of the equations. We can get x, I mean 0 is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 4. So 0 is equal to x minus 4 x minus 1. So x is simply 1 and 4. And so we know that the intersection is right there. This is going to be 1, and that is going to be 4. Now using our area formula, we know that it is from 1 to 4. And the upper function is the orange function. And we have to minus the lower function. That is the blue parabola, x minus 2 squared. And don't forget the dx. Please don't forget the dx because it is super, super important. Now let's simplify this. This is x minus x squared minus 4x plus 4 dx, which is the same as x minus x squared plus 4x minus 4 dx. So let's get some extra space. I'm going to remove all of this since we no longer need them. This is 4, that's going to be 1. This is negative x squared plus 5x minus 4 dx. Now we should be able to integrate this. So negative x squared, we integrate it, that's going to give us negative x 3 over 3 plus this is going to be 5 times x to the power of 2 over 2 minus 4x and we have to do it from 4 to 1. So that's going to be negative 4 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 5 times 4 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 4 times 4 and don't forget, we have to subtract the lower bound one. So it's going to be negative 1 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 5 times 1 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 4 times 1, and that's just going to be 4. So that's going to be negative 64 over 3 plus this is going to be 16 divided by 2, which is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 minus 16 minus this is going to be negative one third plus 5 over 2 
minus 4. And let's erase this. So moving on, negative 64 over 3. So 40 minus 16, that's going to be 24 minus, this is going to be 2 over 6 plus 6, 15 minus 24. This is going to be 72 over 2, I mean over 3, minus. So negative 2 plus 15 is 13. And 13 minus 24 is going to be negative 11. So negative 11. And we are so close to finishing this. So let's remove all of this. So negative 64 plus 72 is going to be 8 over 3 and the 2 minus sign turn into a positive sign so plus 11 over 6 that is the same as 16 over 6 plus 11 over 6 that's going to be 27 over 6 and we can simplify this fraction and we get 9 over 2 or simply 4.5 if you prefer. And so this represents the area between those two curves.